Here we are gonna test a conductivity of various chemical compounds. Let's begin with hydrochloric acid. Now we will measure the conductivity of this compound. And it offers the resistance around uh, around 110 ohm. Now we will allow the electric current to pass through this fluid. It's about 220 volts and 10 ampere current. Yeah, it creates a spark in the fluid hence it's a strong electrolyte here you can see the sparks clearly now we will test the another compound that is distilled water Uh, uh, it's not showing at all we will put on high still it's about uh, it has very large resistivity and the resistivity of this crystal water is around 1.5 mega ohm it's very large compared to the SCL and uh, the other compounds hence uh, it cannot be classified as electrolyte compound yeah you can see the light don't glows at all Now I will test the normal tap water. Uh, the resistance is around um, it's constantly varies so it's difficult to get an exact result uh, yeah it's around uh, 40 yeah 40 kilo ohm and yeah of course it is more conducting than the distilled water Yeah, the bulb glows with the low intensity as the flow of current is reduced but as we goes towards the electrode the flow of current increases and hence it glows brighter now we will put some sodium chloride that is common salt to increase the conductivity of this water
and yeah uh, you can see the flow of current has been increased and hence it glows brighter and now the another compound that is copper sulfate the resistance is around uh, yeah it's about 10 kilo ohm as it has low resistivity it will allow more currents to flow through and yeah you can see it glows more brighter than the salt water and hence copper sulfate is a strong electrolyte compound and now the last compound that is sodium hydroxide it is basic in nature and the resistivity is about uh, it's not showing um, yeah it's it's about 3.5 kilo ohm if it is low resistance it will allow more currents to flow hence the bulb will be more brighter yeah, you can see and so NaOH is a strong electrolyte compound and you can see a spark it creates a spark when we put the nail inside this fluid And here is the observation table with the approximate resistance. Hi guys, my name is Admar de Souza and I'm making YouTube videos on poetry, inspiration, motivation and Christianity. Be sure to subscribe. My YouTube channel name is Poetic Wolf. Tech Science.